Welcome, welcome back crew. crew. Welcome Pretty to welcome. another Scorpion and Sub Zero. Open a bag. Open a bag. Bag this open time. Open a bag. You have one. Reptile has one. And now, of course, I had to get one because Mick costume made this in yellow. Very so inexpensive. Mick costumes Scorpion. Look at that yellow. Version of mine. Now, that, that's the biggest thing that we're going to probably do with this because they're all the same. This is a medium as well. You had a large uh, reptile had a medium. Yep. And we saw the difference between those. But this one is mine. In, and I get a drop to saturation. This is the yellow that this is. It is a very light yellow. I like that yellow. I'm going to bring up all the different yellows that there could be right now. That Just yellow because. will work really well with your mask. It will. But this is a lighter shade. This is like a primary. Okay, so if you look at the difference between this tavern and this tavern, look how light that is. Yeah. It almost reminds me of the Jedi color, but it's a little bit more um, bright, I feel like, than the Jedi one. It's the MK11 tavern. Orangish. Orangish. It's dirtier. They made it look that way on purpose. So if you're looking at that, yay! It's a mask! Yes! Right? So you want to be able to match that the right way. Oh. Here's that one. And the next lightest I can think about bringing is the Jedi robes. Because that yellow was incredibly pale compared. This is very toward green. This is starting to hint toward the green spectrum from yellow. Mm -hmm. So this is a better yellow yes, it is. than the Jedi robes. It's almost this like it's in between those, but more toward the direction of the mask. Just as a perspective for you guys. So I'm going to put it on and see how it compares to the mask right now. This is why this is easy to take off. All right, elevator music, here we go. Like that, it's, sli it's shiny, it's a gloss finish. Like, uh, like yours did, Sub-Zero. It's very shiny. Not like reptiles. Reptiles was not shiny, it was more of a matte. Yes. We're doing it on purpose. The pants. The shirt. So good you get those. You, you get all see. the things you I need. Just wing them over there. But this is the shirt. With hood attached. No and sleeves. It's smaller. That's weird. What? So the reptile one had a big one of these with the medium, and this is a medium with what appears to be a medium actual undershirt. So That's it seems like you may not get the size to match with that, so you might want to get a belly clava separately. Here's the, uh, the arms, which these are really cool. I, I, mean, I always like these ones. I just Basically wish I was like putting the them on right when I put mine on. Shin guards. Love these. Universal strap. Stretchy. Fits everybody. Surgical mask, which looks pretty good with this hoodie. It is not a breathable material. Right. It isn't. Hello, train! Has to be a train. Just has to be. <sighs> that one. You have to put this on in a hurry. Hurry! Battle time! I gotta get this off. My MK11 uniform, I have to be late immediately. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And then there it is. Hey! All right, okay, so this on. is good. I, I really like the simplicity. I like the thriftness of this costume. A lot of you guys, I heard in the comments for his video, um, Sub Zero, you got a lot of hits. People say, yeah, I, I, want, I got that one, or I wanted to get that one, and thank you for, yeah. So this is the Scorpion one. All right, so now let's look at the full thing full thing on me because I really didn't put it on in the main video because we didn't have a lot of time left but here it is the pants provided these are extremely stretchy look how much look how much look 
How much? That's still a medium. You can be a lot bigger than a medium and still fit the medium, which is something I wish I knew because it's not adjustable. So you see, I got a little bit of slack here, a little bit of breathing room here, but I can bring that in if I want with a little bit more Velcro on the inside or even put a thicker outer shirt on and that will kind of just disappear. Pull back spin, look at that. It is extremely thin. It is thicker here and here. The belt is the thinnest part, but it's overall extremely thin material. If I look at this mask or I show this mask to you, which is a which is a sail for some kind of a 16th century ship, it's quite large. If we look at it compared to this again, this is something more expensive, which obviously if you're on a budget and you don't want to spend the money on this, get this. But I'm just trying to tell you the difference. Here's a light. See it? Okay, lights on. Could stay on. Now you can see how thin this actually is. See the light? You can still see the light. You can still see the light. Everywhere, you can kind of still see this light, especially here on the belt. It's very, very thin material, extremely thin. It's like a big, it's like a robust trash bag. It's like a Kirkland signature Costco brand of mask here. And if you compare it to something that's a little bit more expensive, you can't see anything. Yeah, you, you can't see. You can't see the light. So that's an example of how thin it actually is material-wise. The stitching at close examination is shoddy. Of course it is. I'm not expecting too much. It's just if you are expecting perfection with something this thrifty, you're not going to find it. So you've got missed stitches, you've got missed sections. There's probably missed sections on my shoulder. I can see one right there. This Velcro here is white. You can see that. Very thin Velcro as well. If you're gonna detach and reattach this, I recommend not to do this. Holding the actual belt and ripping them apart, you grab the Velcro and the Velcro to separate them. It's okay strength-wise to me, since all strength. But eh, I have this fear that anything more than this, it's kind of like opening a bag of chips, you don't want to fly across the room. It's like, I'm resisting myself. I don't want those chips everywhere. Like, I don't want to rip this, is what I'm saying. So here's this. If you can see, I'm wearing yellow and yellow, this is ridiculous. This is a honker, this mask right here. This is one size fits all. This I don't think they changed the mask size with the sizes of the uniform. It goes from small, medium, large, and extra large, as you can see on the size chart. The hood itself, can you see this? Is a really great design for uh, as far as hoods go. The reason why is because it funnels in where your head is supposed to be. It funnels in stitch-wise. So the hood is bigger for your head to sit in it, and it funnels in around where your face is supposed to be so that it doesn't actually act like a hoodie on a shirt and then go down and up easy. So you're gonna see how hard this is to get up. What I'm going to do also, I hate things hanging off my ears. I don't like that, so I'm going to attach these together. I suggest you do the same because it will fit better. If you just look where it lines up, if we were to just put this on my ears, look at this little gap that's forming at the end. And I have a mask on under this. That thickness won't be on your face. Very big nose. Look at this gap. It just fall down or be a pain in the butt. So being back here and tighter is going to be very beneficial to the look. So I'm going to do that uh, with something I have lying on the table. Twist tie. Sure, that'll work. Okay, do the twist tie thing. Put it on there. Give it a couple twists. Just for right now, I wouldn't put this permanently on here just to show you what's going on. I'm gonna put this over my head. Put it on, change this hood out, put this one on me, and then come right back. Okay, now we're back. This is the full thing now. It's the full thing that comes in the package. Mask. Hoodie, tunic, slave guards, pants, arm guards. Full thing. $68 right now. Can't beat that. And like I said, that fit 
this stitching here on the outside of the face hole for this thing is very tight in. My head is 23 inches around. Putting this on and then putting it over my head after is very hard. I'm, it's very tight. So put the mask on your face or on your ears or however you wanna wear it. Then put the shirt hoodie thing on. Then you can put the tunic on over that. If you don't do it in that order, this mask here is gonna be very hard to get on your head. And then this hood off and back on again because of how tight this hold is. And you don't wanna rip it because it would ruin the entire effect that this has. It's not breathable material by any means. It's just the breath is coming from here. The vents that it's, it's being separated from my face by my nose and cheekbones. So I think my big nose is saving me for once. Do some movements. Yeah, I got some leave. See the motion of throwing a spear, but that messed these up. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Look what you guys think. You probably have already bought this. And I'm gonna say I approve. And the pants are super stretchy, like I said, they don't limit. This doesn't limit your mobility in any way. So if you wanna get a leg up over your head, you can. So last test is see if jumping, see if jumping messes with this, because a lot of stunts we've done with jumping and we come down, it actually just messes everything up. So let's see. Yep, yep, nothing's jump proof. He still came down. So Anna's an added bonus, it all fits on one hanger from storage. That is not to say the same about anything Mortal Kombat 11 of mine. Nothing Mortal Kombat 11 of mine fits on one hanger. But if you take one shirt and you put it underneath on the bottom rung of a, of a coat hanger like this, you got the shirt and the pants in there, that, down in the middle, you take the arm guards and the leg guards, and you kind of just slip them over the top of the hook on with the mask, because they have loops in them. Just hang like this. You can see what I'm doing. I'm blocking with my other hand. It's great, it's great to see what I'm doing. You're going everything up on the same hanger, and then put it in the closet. You give it a five. Reptile gave it a four and a half for being a difference difference in size from the undershirt to the outerwear. Where do you side with Scorpion? Are you siding with Reptile or Sub Zero on this one? We're gonna give this. Uh, I want to be different. We give this a four point seven five. Oh yes, yes. You're close to me. You're closer to me than Reptile was. I know it's right in the middle, but still, that's good. Can have that. I'm sorry about my sound because I'm up there, but uh, I love it. We really do. We like these. So you get yourself one if you've got sixty dollars and you want a classic look and you don't want to spend more. This is where you go. Yeah, we'll leave a link Thanks. down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know down below what else you'd want to see. And we'll see you guys next time on whatever the hell it is that you said.